What up, guys? CP the Tool Addict. Woo! I want to take my uh, time to thank Doc from Last Best Tool uh, for getting me into more um, organization or uh, tool options. So I obviously, I have a carry toolbox, but I was thinking to myself, and he was watching his video, and he had these roaring fire tool bat uh, rolls, and I thought to myself, this thing is super handy. Not only that, I can throw it in my truck, and I'm not worried about damaging anything. And I wanted to talk to you guys about it, so I got one. And uh, I think this is a pretty cool deal. And I'll put a link in the description for all this stuff. As usual, uh, if you guys are interested, not saying you have to buy it, but nice clips here. Um, and this has the, uh, this is a rollout, big pouches, the heavy-duty canvas. And uh, has the YKK zippers, too, on this? Yeah, I believe it does. Yes, the YKK zippers. So I wanted to show you guys how I kind of set this up. Something that I'm just putting in my truck for, you know, just having a tool. I put in a uh, rounded off nut wrench and a pair of pliers, a ratcheting Vera screwdriver, another pair of pliers, these micro pros, electrical tester, some electrical tape, and uh, it's got a hook here. Um, I'm guessing that way you can kind of hang something off of it but uh the pouches are super heavy duty and i've been using this actually i threw this in my truck i've been kind of using it to see um I, I i might need to set this up a little bit different but i threw my vera bit ratchet set with uh, sockets in here uh it, i just like this idea of this whole kit because it's not a clanky toolbox it's not a plastic one with latches and it, it kind of you know you can stuff it under the seat but you know like i put this into this pouch right here and uh, I thought this was super handy. I put a little stubby screwdriver in there too, uh, that, that Klein one, a couple of hex keys um, in there. And uh, it rolls up real nice. I like this little flap here. I mean, the, the canvas is super heavy, durable canvas. A really impressive uh, tool roll from Roaring Fire. And I actually thought that they had some really cool products. Um, and I, I think Doc, he's like, he's like got like several of them now. I know this is probably not the most craziest tool haul video, but uh, it's definitely something, a tool roll. Uh, and Oh, and the other thing is this actually unzips too. Uh, this has a, uh, let me do this real quick. That's what this this deal is for too. Let me, uh, look at this. So this little pouch comes apart, okay? So you got this hook right here. And now you can roll this little tool roll up and uh, snatch this together. And now you can hang this off of you, I'm assuming is what the deal is. So you can hang this somewhere with this little hook and strap, uh, and probably hook it around something and loop it, and uh, you know, like so and so, such, so and such and so. And uh, look at this, now you got another little extra tool. So if you want to split it up and put two tool rolls in a car or something, your kid's car or something like that, now you got two tool rolls. This one rolls right up. Uh, man, it's just a... Uh, this is a great idea. I, I mean, I know tool rolls have been around forever. But, you know... Why not... Why not bring tool rolls... Well, let's not... Let's make tool rolls great again. Uh, I, I mean, you're not scratching up stuff. That's the big thing about this. Since this up tight, uh, put them in your motorcycle. That was another thing I thought about, too. Is what hell... You know, tool rolls were big in motorcycles... And I thought this would be a, a excellent deal for tools uh, for motorcycles. Uh, I was thinking about my buddy Armin too about that, you know. But you got your little shoulder strap. But I don't have to worry about it messing up stuff. I don't hear the tools clanging around in there, you know, like you do if you're driving down a road, rough road, especially if you got a truck or whatnot. Now it's probably a little bit subject to getting dust in there if you're out in the country or whatnot. But uh, you know, these these definitely make sense to me. Instead of having a toolbox in your car or carrying on uh, a little emergency tool kit. Uh, just, a, just a neat deal. And I think this was only, they're only like 45, 50 bucks, I believe. I'm, I don't remember the exact price of it, but uh, it just, 40, you know, why not have this versus having a toolbox? Like, you're going to hear your wrenches. I could put a few wrenches in there, but that's why I put the adjustable wrench in there. Because I thought, if you have to, you can get by with an adjustable wrench versus putting several wrenches in there. But, you know, quick and easy. And it's dirt. It's not made of cheap material. This is not a piece of garbage. Uh, like I said, the YKK zippers 
are the standard. I was looking it up. These are, you can see right there, uh, YKK zippers and the heavy canvas. Uh, this is like Carhartt type canvas and I don't know the thickness and didn't, without getting too technical, I don't think it really matters. You know, I mean, if you're really that into it, but heavy double stitching on this, I do know that they did do that. Uh, you got double stitching almost everywhere on this whole entire thing, which is absolutely phenomenal. But Roaring Fire, to me, killed it. And I think you guys would enjoy... Uh, I, I thought you guys might enjoy... Some of you might enjoy seeing this as a neat deal, especially some of you truck drivers and whatnot. Uh, just handy to put your tools in there instead of maybe you have it in a drawer. Or, I know when I was a truck driver, I, keep some, I used to keep mine in an old triangle box. Uh, emergency road flare box, but uh, I liked it. Not not only that, here's another thing too I liked about it, the high vis. So if I was working on, and you can lay this out on your fender of your, you know, whatever you're, whatever you're working on, and you got the high vis here, and you can kind of notice this as reference that a tool's missing from here when you see all that orange. You can tell, you know, where the tool is kind of open because they put this orange there. Thought that was a really good idea. Not only that, all the backing in there, pretty smart in my opinion, of how they did this. Uh, they definitely will thought this out well, I, in my opinion. You know, you can tell with all the orange back there, once you have a tool in there, you can see it through the mesh and notice that it's missing. But you also have high-vis high -vis orange there. So if you're working in a dark or low-lit area, and now you forget, hey, look, I forgot to put my tools back in here. So pretty cool stuff, really. Uh, I will put a link in the description for them. Uh, the Roaring Fire uh, tool row. I know it's a different video for me to do, but I definitely uh, was really jazzed about these. And I thought you guys might enjoy that too. So I thought I'd share it with you. Roaringfire.com. Great company. Um, I haven't really spoke with them much, but uh, I, judging by what Doc was talking about and seeing his videos... Uh, oh, they have a, oh, these detach too, so you can take those off too. Um, these are a little bit cheaper right here. They're, they're plastic. I'm not so sure about those. I will say that at the end here. Uh, those might be, I don't, you know, you're not really putting a lot of weight in them, but it is what it is. So, Roaring Fire. Go ahead and give them a check out if you want to. Appreciate you guys watching. As always, remember, like, comment, share, subscribe, ring that bell, remember. Keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.